Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I bought in Oslo. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Malin and I do videos about luxury handbags, shoes and fashion in general. So if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So as you might know if you have seen the vlog, I was recently in Oslo with the Dior opening and had a very good time. I finally got to meet my new essay. Uh, I had an essay in London before, but now when Dior are opening in Oslo, I'm going to have an essay there. And she was so nice and we were invited to take a look at the store a day before the store really opened for everyone so that was very exciting and if you haven't seen my vlog yet i will link it below so you can check it out it is worth checking out because the store was absolutely gorgeous and i also ended up buying some things um, but i'm going to save them for the last so we can start with your beauty which is a regular favorite boutique that i always visit when i'm in oslo because i really like the vibe and my essay there is so nice. She is the best. Um, so here is the box. And I got a few things. So let's open it up. So I'm going to start with some freebies first. Here is two items. And it's the purple oud. Um, this is a perfume that my boyfriend really loves, so he wanted some samples to try it out. And she was so nice and gave it to us. And the first item I bought was a mascara. This is the Dior Show mascara. I got it in the advent calendar and I really loved it, so I wanted to purchase it. But the last time I was in Oslo, they were sold out and now they finally got a restock. So here it is. I really love the formula and it is my favorite mascara so far. This is in shade black. I prefer black mascara. So yeah. The next thing I bought was a Dior lip tint. So let's open it up. Here is the lip tint and it's in shade Neutral Sienna. I really like the color of the lip tint and I've heard many good things about it. So when I tried it on in the store I knew it was the perfect shade for me. And I'm very excited to try a lip tint because when I'm normally using lipsticks they will fade out and almost disappear right away. So I'm very excited to try this one to see if it's any better. That was the second thing that I bought and we can move on to... The second part of the freebies, here is the dust bag. Um, and then, by the way, I really like the dust bags. They are so cute and tiny. And I also think they are very practical. You can uh, store some things inside them. So the next things that I got is another sample of purple wood. And the other item that I got is this perfume sample. I think it is pronounced Boys the Argent. Um, and this is the big sample. This is 7.5 milliliters and they are so cute and I want all of the perfume samples in this size. So that was the other thing that I got from her. Let's move on to items that I bought. I mainly bought nail care because uh, when I got nails for Copenhagen. The lady destroyed my nails so now I need to take care of my nails and protect them. So therefore I bought a lot of nail things. Uh, and the first thing I bought is this base coat apricot. This is meant to protect the nails. And we can just open it up. So here it is. This is just a basic base coat. So yeah, and the next thing I got is a nail polish and I got it in shade Mugge, uh, 108. So let's open it up 
and it is quite similar to the base coat. I wanted something that could hide my damage on my nails, but at the same time look very natural. So therefore I went with this color and I can't wait to use it. So after this video, I will probably go and take care of my nails finally. And the last nail thing that I got is this nail serum. Uh, last time I got the apricot cream and I'm so happy with it, but uh, I wanted something that I could use um, more on the go because the nail cream gets a little bit sticky. This one is a serum that you can just apply to your cuticles and it is pretty easy to use and I don't think it will be as sticky as the nail cream. And the final thing that I bought is this Dior Rouge lip balm. I have wanted it for a while and I thought last time when I was in Oslo that this is the time to buy it. And I also got it in the limited edition houndstooth pattern, uh, which is very practical because I have a lot of Dior lipsticks and they all look the same. So this one I will know the difference. And so yeah. And I really love the details. I think it is very pretty and I'm very excited to try it and see if it's better than, for example, my Chanel lip balm that I use every day. So yeah. that was the final thing that I bought from Dior Beauty. And I also got some more freebies. And uh, so here is the Capture Jotal Serum. Um, I think this is a, yeah. It is a little freebie, but it is bigger than most of the freebies. This one is five milliliters. And I think I have tried this serum before because I think I got it in the advent calendar. It was very good, but I prefer the prestige serum. Um, but I'm very happy and I'm so glad that my essay gives me this kind of gifts. And I have spared the biggest one till last. And uh, so here is the big dust bag. Um, this one, I really like the size of it and I think I will use it as a dust bag inside my bags to have makeup and other things inside it. Uh, I really like to have dust bags inside my bags so I have a little bit more control of the things I have inside my bags. So, um, as usual, I got the Prestige uh, samples and these are the cleansing balm to oil and as usual I also got this thing that I haven't used yet I don't know what it is it says scented ushibori which I think it is a cloth or something that you can use on your hands and this is one of the usual things that I got from her and the other things that I also usually get when I'm there is this prestige serum which I said earlier that I prefer better than the capture total serum and uh, so I got two samples of that and it's very good so the last freebies I got from my essay is perfume samples once again and this time I got four samples of this scent spice blend and this is also a scent that my boyfriend really likes and wants to try so this is for him and let's move on to Hermes so I didn't get that many things at Hermes because I'm soon leaving for Paris um, but I did manage to get some things that I have wanted um, and also here I also got some perfume samples I got this rose ikabana I really liked it and I also got this Cedre Sambac, I think it is for my boyfriend and the other samples that I got was Citroen Noir and another sample of Citroen Noir. So the first thing that I got from Hermes is actually a perfume um, and let's unbox it. So this is the Twilly de Hermes Out Ginger. 
I tried the sample that I got from my essay and I really liked it so I wanted to get it um, and this time I finally got it and this is a very very cute bottle of perfume here you can see it, the bottle it is very nice and the scent is just so fresh and summery so yeah I can't wait to use it and I think I'm going to take it with me to Paris. We'll see what I do but I think I will bring it with me. And the other thing that I got is this one and this one is also something just small and this is the shower gel. So yeah, I really like this one too. And the scent is just so fresh and summery as well. So yeah. And I really like the design. I think the design is very clean and uh, looks very aesthetic. So that's also a reason why I got it. And I'm so excited to try it. So that was the second item that I got from Hermes. And the final item that I got from Hermes is also something little but it's something that I didn't expect that I was going to buy and by the shape of the box you probably know what it is so let's open it up so here is my new twilly um, I wasn't supposed to get a twilly when I was in the store but my essay showed me this one and I totally fell for it because it was something different from the other Twilies that I have and as you might know I'm not a Twilly kind of girl because I like bags more clean but since I have uh, my Birkin in gold I want to protect it so I think I'm going to use more Twilies now and I think the main reason why I don't like Twilly that much is because of the pattern but I don't think this pattern is too childish for me. I'm very happy with it and I really like the colors. They really match my style so that's the reason why I got it and the details is just so stunning. And I really like that it has a little bit of orange to break up the colors a little bit. So that was the last thing that I got from Hermes. Let's move on to Dior. Finally, <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to show you is a gift that I got from my essay. She is so nice and I am so happy with her and I think we are in the best hands possible when it comes to uh, Dior in Norway. So the item that I got is a notebook. I have the notebook in the gold and the white color which I got for, I think, my birthday. This one is a special edition to Oslo uh, because it says Dior Oslo here and it's uh, specifically for the Dior opening in Oslo. Uh, and as the other notebook I have, uh, it's the same. It has these gold edges uh, and it also has this gorgeous Toilet Joy pattern uh, and this is in grey with white and it's a very thoughtful and nice gift so thank you so much to my essay so let's move on to the other thing that I actually bought uh, I felt that I needed to buy something because it was the opening and so I ended up buying just a little thing and look at this cute bag <laughs> and if you are familiar with the Dior packaging you probably know what it is um, so here is the little box and it's so cute and tiny <laughs> so let's open it up and here is the dust bag and here you can see what I bought so I actually bought a pair of earrings I didn't think I was going to buy fashion jewelry because the quality, but I couldn't resist this. Uh, and look at that clean and sleek design. It is so cool and, and understated. And I'm going actually to take it on now. I really like the design of these and I think they are so cool. 
and these I'm definitely going to bring with me to Paris and since I got them I have worn them a lot of times. This isn't the actual unboxing but I'm so happy that I got them and here are they on. So yeah that was the things that I bought in Oslo. In addition to this my boyfriend actually bought a card holder for himself. I'm not going to show that but he did buy something as well. I haven't bought that much this trip because I'm soon leaving to Paris and I want to save up all my money to spend a lot there. And I'm also very curious to hear what are your favorite items from this haul. So please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching me yet, here is another video and goodbye. <laughs>